Uh, aloha, friends and family. Welcome to a Cusco Uncut. If this is your first time to a Cusco Uncut, well, welcome. Usually we edit the crap of our videos and I usually do one Cusco Uncut a week. I didn't do one on Wednesday like I usually do this week, so I figured I'd do one today on Saturday instead. And I'm debating whether or not I'm going to overlay a bunch of B-roll while I'm talking today. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to make it harder for myself. Okay, what I'm planning to talk about today on the Cusco Uncut, three things. A, the future of this channel and what you can expect going forward. B, the potential future of other channels and what you can expect on those if I did do them. And C, I haven't figured out C yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Check out this teepee that Hillary made out of bamboo that we harvested from a neighbor's house the other day. Pretty cool, huh? It's obviously a work in progress, but I like it. It's got everything we Everything we love on here. Be kind. All you need is love. And take care of the earth. And yourselves. And each other. Okay, so let me tell you guys what my thoughts are about the future of this channel. Well, right now we were expecting to have Dave Kaufman here. I was expecting to be traveling with him, but because of the fires and the smoke, which it's getting better on the coast here. I, I looked at our purpleair.com the other day, today, and it's looking really nice on the northern coast of California. Right here where we're at is still like 100, so it's not perfect yet, or not, not even close, but but it is at least looking somewhat up. So that's that's awesome. At least we're making some progress. I say we, I mean the, the heroes that are the firefighters that are out there trying to get these things under control as best they can. Um, and uh, the future of the channel would have been Dave, and it's still gonna be Dave, he's coming next week. And we're gonna go to the East Vivarium, which is the place where I got my first snake when I was four years old and do some filming there. We're gonna go up to Freedom Breeder, we're gonna go up to SAC, we're gonna go herping with Brian Gundy, so you can expect all that stuff coming up on the channel. I'm also planning to go out to the Reptarium as soon as I hear back from Brian about which dates are gonna work best. And then from there, I was planning to go hang out with Garrett over in Pittsburgh, because I usually go out there in October for Tinley expedition, but even though Tinley's not happening, I think I still might just go hang out with Garrett regardless of the fact that Tinley's not happening. Also, I was thinking about starting more channels, which is really dumb, really dumb. I shouldn't be thinking about doing that because I already have so much on my plate. Like just today, I edited the Freedom Breeder video. I edited Searchables Reptiles podcast, which right here, here's the link for that. If you haven't seen it already, we did it with Clint's Reptiles. Podcast went really well. And editing the videos of the podcast isn't that big a deal which we've been doing videos for I think three or four episodes now it's not it's not that it's like brain consuming it's more that it's time consuming like I sitting there you know it's a two-hour podcast and all I'm doing is sitting there and switching back between camera angles on the podcast which again not brain consuming but just time consuming because it's two hours just sitting there going duck 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 <laughs> Uh, so to, to my point of why would I even imagine that I would want to start more channels or do more than I'm already doing, I don't know, I'm creative, I, I always have these ideas, but then I, I don't realize how much work they cause me after the fact, because if I start doing something like that, like I really need to, I need to commit to it, it's got to be something I commit to, not something that I'm just like, take lightly and be like, ah, I did it for a little bit and then I, I stopped, I need to keep doing it and keep doing it for as long as possible, or whatever I've really gotten into whiskey American whiskey American whiskey specifically these past six months or so I've always been into scotch for like the last decade I've been really into scotch and I've been watching some channels to learn a little bit more about the American whiskey on YouTube and I'm like I've got I've got enough knowledge and experience where I could actually make a channel I think about whiskey and all the new ones I'm experiencing and learning about and everything I've learned 
in the past little while here, I've actually got like 36 or so bottles in the house right now. That's not including ones I've been keeping under the house for years. And I feel like I'm just getting started. <laughs> I mean, they look beautiful. They're just the bottles themselves look beautiful. It's just a thought. A thought I was having as far as another channel. And also, I've been trying to get Hillary to do a podcast. You know, not like hounding her hard, but we were talking about starting our own podcast. I know you guys probably, those of you that are subscribed and watch all the videos, know that we've talked about that at least a couple times. And she just doesn't seem to be super into it. Where she's like, yeah, let's do it now. Whoa. What's going on over there? I don't know if you guys can see that there's this one tree way back there. It looked like there was like a panda crawling up it. Not because I saw a black and white bear, just because the way that it was bending. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, there's Hillary with a naked baby. This is an uncut, can't come over here with that naked baby. <laughs> I was just talking about you and how willing you are to maybe do or not do the podcast we've been talking about for months and that I bought a microphone for you for and all that stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But you're way over there, so you think your hippie thoughts over there, I'll, I'll be over here talking to the camera. Oh, no, no, no. Hair doesn't make a hippie. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, you want to talk to me on camera? Let's do our podcast. There's a, there's a, one other thing, debates. I, I'm a big fan of debating. Speaking of speaking with Hillary on a podcast, like I really like to debate people on stuff. I like to argue the other side of any given topic. And I feel like I can, like even if it's, no matter what the topic is. Like if somebody, I would love to do this. Maybe we'll just do it on Instagram lives or something. Like I've been doing the past couple weeks when you just jump on live and do random stuff. And if you guys have like a topic, leave a comment down below. If you want to debate me on a topic, any topic, like you pick what side of any topic you want to debate about where there's, it's a debatable topic. And I will take the opposite side of whatever it is and debate it to the best of my ability. I love doing that. I don't get to do it on here much. Like I always have people around that agree with me with, about all kinds of stuff, which, which is okay. But it's not as exciting for me. I don't enjoy it nearly as much as when I actually get to like have a, a debate with somebody. It's way more exciting for me. The conversation is also, I feel, more, pro not progressive, but uh, is more, like you get more accomplished. Like there's, there's more value to a conversation where you're having a back and forth about something that you, you disagree on. If you agree on something, there's not as much to be gained from the conversation, in my opinion. Like you get way more from a conversation where somebody disagrees with you on something. So I love doing this and I would love to do it. But that was the thought for a second channel. And what? First episode oh, Hillary says we're doing the first episode tonight. That means we have to commit and we have to do it every week. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, commitment's not your thing? Because there's so, every time I commit or make a plan, it doesn't work. Every time you commit or make a plan, it doesn't work? What about this? What about this thing we got going on between... I'm afraid I'm the reason it's not going to work. <laughs> oh. See so that, guys? If it doesn't work between Hillary and I, all her Hillary fault. Just... She just said it right here on camera. Stop showing my baby's I'm butt. I'm her booty. Okay. Um, can we just commit to... Actually, more butt. More butt, more butt. <laughs> Can we just do it and not have like a consistent schedule? No, first, no, I, no, no. If we're gonna do it, it has to be once a week. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, can't we do like? Nope. Not compromising okay. on it because okay. if you want to have something successful, you got to be consistent with it. You can't just be lollygagging, floppy, floppy. Like here's this, here's that, and maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. I mean, maybe I'll put some B-roll in this video, and maybe I won't. But that the video is going up regardless. At the time that I always put up a video. I podcasts that aren't super consistent and I don't mind I just get happy when another one comes out it's like a bonus to my life hmm People's bonus. I don't know let's talk about it on the podcast tonight okay. <laughs> so uh, there was one more thing I was going to talk about with you guys about oh oh yeah debating in comments uh one one gripe is people leaving comments on the channel this has happened like four or five times in the last week 
Like somebody will leave a comment. I'll be like, oh, great. Somebody disagrees. Let's have a debate about it. Like, and, and then I'll leave my first comment on their comment. So that I'm hoping that we start a little thread and talk about it. And then they delete their comment. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You're like, you left the comment. What are you scared of? It's just a comment on the internet. It's, I guess you can just erase it. And then, you know, there's nothing to be scared of. What? No, it won't. If you erase it, it's gone. I mean, people can find it. No, you can't. If you de- no, if you delete it, it's gone. Nothing's ever gone from the internet. Nothing's gone from the internet. I guess. I'm not that tech savvy. Alright guys, I hope you're having a great day. Hope you enjoyed your little Cusco Uncut with me here today. And uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on Monday with maybe the first Music Monday in a long time. What do you think about that? Bye! Thank you.